इंक्लूज फ्रॉम बैंक डिपॉजिट वी कॉल इट आर योर इनकम फ्रॉम अदर सोर्स सेंस कॉलेज ट्यूशन फीस इज वॉट पर्सनल ड्रॉइंग सो वी हैव टू माइनस फाइव थाउजेंड फ्रॉम जनरल एक्सपेंसिस एडवांस सैलरी इज पेड फॉर वॉट योर पर्सनल इनकम वॉट एवर योर पर्सनल इनकम यू गॉट ऑन दैट वी आर सपोज टू पे टैक्स दीज आर कॉल्ड एज एडवांस आई पी Hello everyone. This is your Adesh sir here, lecturing with you from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session four of your topic called Tax Management. Under Tax Management, we are discussing about the profit and gain of business and profession. Now, under business and profession, what we are going to discuss now. Under business or profession, we discussed your format. In the format, you had three kinds of profession, and we have business and profession. And first, we have taken topic called profession. Under profession, we are discussing about three professions, which are those like we have professions like doctor, we have professions like engineer, and we have professions like. chartered accountant these are the three major professions we have right now in your syllabus you are supposed to prepare for these are the three professions now doctor we have done almost two problems on doctor and there won't be any changes or any extra adjustment you will get now in today's session we will work out about chartered accountant ca now chartered accountant means what he is a commerce background and if he has completed his ca course he will be called as chartered accountant now what are the income we call it as ca now under this we go for the audit fees the consultation fees the accounting work all comes under your chartered accountant income and if he has started his own business or own office whatever expenses he made within the premises like in his office towards his profession we call it as expenditure expenses of profession we will work out one problem on the profession of chartered accountant so that you will understand better how to solve your professional income in case of chartered accountant now the agenda is very simple we have concept we have problems and again i repeat we have one is concept one more is problems so this will be your question now compute professional income of chartered accountant now i know this what happens you have particular amount particular amount these are the income and expenditures we have in your table now in the table what happens we have to consider which are your professional income and which are your professional expenditure i'll go one by one we'll see whether it is a professional income or professional expenditure but remember while doing this problem you should remember that you are a chartered accountant you should remember that these are your professional related now i'll go for that first one opening balance and closing balance as i told you is not part of your profession now we have audit fees audit fees in the sense we have audit fees audit fees is a part of your profession then tax consultation fees is a part of your profession remuneration for teaching in college again part of your profession then gift from see even though you are a chartered accountant per month there is a certain number of hours you are eligible you are permitted to take classes in the college now next one gift from relatives see again if your gift from your client then you are supposed to take if the gift from your relatives you are not supposed to take hope you are clear yes interest from bank deposit any interest from bank deposit is not part of your professional it comes under where interest from bank deposit we call it as your income from other source now 
rent from house property rent from house property also we call it as income from house property we never call this as income from your profession hope you are clear yes now again we'll come back to this one salary to staff salary to staff what happens it is a part of your profession again i'll repeat salary to staff is a part of your profession office rent again once again it will be called as your part of profession office rent purchase of laptop see in this what happens purchase of any capital asset we will not consider if we have any depreciation on that we should consider now purchase of laptop is not part of your profession right now purchase of laptop only we calculate depreciation purchase of professional books again one more purchase of professional book again we will not consider this only the depreciation part will be called as your professional expenditure now municipal tax normally we pay for what house purpose it is not part of your profession advanced it again even though you are a chartered accountant advanced it is paid for what your personal income whatever your personal income you got on that we are supposed to pay tax these are called as advanced it telephone expenses always part of your profession why why because telephone means what if you have office in the office you must have telephone or landline or any mobiles because the client has to contact you normally it comes under what normally it comes with your professional expenditure membership fees normally it is a part of your profession unless and until in the adjustment they have mentioned that membership for some club membership for some other purpose then we will not consider clear yes then life insurance premium life insurance premium is what life insurance premium is your personal general expenditure general expenditure what happens general expenditure is also part of your business but we'll see is there any adjustment on that now last one balance carry down as you know that we will not consider your balance carry down these are the information we have in your question we'll see is there any other adjustments in this yes we have two adjustments in this problem like depreciation on laptop 15000 and book 10000 now on laptop what is the depreciation 15000 what is the value of laptop actually 50000 yes we done almost 30% so 15000 depreciation on laptop books it is 10000 the value of book 10000 the depreciation also, depreciation also 10 because maybe these kind of books may be used only for one year that's why we have 100% depreciation now normally there are two types of depreciation for books one will be 60% other one will be 100% 60% if the books for only one year 100% if the same book you can use it for more than one year clear yes so these are the calculation we are supposed to do now and this will be computation of your professional income for the assessment year 2020 and 2021 now i'll go with one by one your professional income your professional income so which are those your professional income now under this so we have professional income how many professional incomes are there 1 2 as 120 and remuneration for teaching in college remember normally remuneration in teaching in college we will not take but we assume that it is for some ca purpose clear now it is 12000 90000 30000 and 12000 now what is your audit fees 
or it fees ninety thousand. Or it fees ninety thousand. What is the second one? Is your tax consultation fees thirty thousand? Tax consultation. So it is thirty thousand. Now remuneration. For teaching, it is twelve thousand. Remember, I'll make a note also here. Assumed that done for professional. purpose yes so once again i am repeat you now any uh, teaching in the college is not your profession being a chartered accountant you cannot go and teach in the college just we can assume that he has uh, taken classes for professional like in colleges send all what happens they will call you for one hour class like there are ca students are there for them professional guidance you are supposed to give all kind those kinds of teaching will be part of your profession normal bcom and bba if ca comes and teach you that is not your professional income remember once again i am repeating you if this is done for bcom or bba class the classes taken by chartered accountant is not your professional income if this is done for any professional advice like if bcom students wants to take ca for that you are giving some advices or some guidance those kind of classes will be considered as your professional income hope you are clear yes now so these are your professional income i'll go back to this 90000 30000 and 12000 120 and 132 120 1 32000 now we will minus all the professional expenses now less professional expenses less professional expenses which are those professional expenses will go one by one in this salary to staff 38 500 now salary to staff salary to staff 38 1500 next office rent 15000 office rent 15000 next purchase of laptop we will not take we take only depreciation depreciation on laptop so it is Fifteen thousand. I'll cross check once. Yes, it is fifteen thousand. And books are ten thousand. I'll write that also. Professional books ten thousand. Depreciation on professional books ten thousand. So after this. Your professional books are over. Then municipal tax is your personal actually. Advance IT is your personal. Periodicals, yes, it is a part of your profession. Periodicals one thousand. Periodicals one thousand. Then telephone expenses ten thousand. Telephone. Expenses 
1000 i'll cross check once telephone expenses it is 10000 i'll change that next after that we have membership fees part of your profession 10000 membership fees membership fees 10000 hope you are clear yes then life insurance not part of your profession general expenditure we have adjustment general expenditure includes 5000 paid for his son's college tuition fees son's college tuition fees is what personal drawing so we have to minus 5000 from general expenses what is your general expenditure it is 5000 it is 15000 actually yes your general expenditure general expenditure 15000 minus 5000 it is 10000 now we will add everything now what is the total we have 90000 plus 20 now 30 1 lakh 20000 plus 12 it is 1 lakh 32000 now 38, 30, 40,000, 50, 68, 500, 78, 88, 90,000 and 1 lakh 500. I'll cross check once. We have 10,000. We have another 10,000. We have 1,000 and we have 10,000, 10,000 and 10,000. Total we have three 10,000. Yes, total we have three ten thousands and we have one thousand and ten thousand. Yes, next we have fifteen thousand. We have another fifteen thousand and we have thirty eight five hundred. I'll get one lakh nine thousand five hundred. 1 lakh 9500 i'll cross check once again you have expenses like yes it has become 10000 and your life insurance will not take 10000 10000 1000 again 10000 15 yes it is proper so 30 68000 68 almost 30 98000 1,9500 exactly now from your total is 1,32 minus 22,500 if you minus this you will get 22,500 what is this professional income professional income hope you are clear so like this you are supposed to do this will be your 10 mark question another two or three adjustment will be added but the method of doing problem other than this you will not get anything hope you are clear yes your concept will be like this this will be your computation like i'll go out of the screen please take a screenshot this will be professional income these are your adjustment these are your answer first part these are your answer last part yes this is all about your today's session hope you understood how to solve a professional income of chartered accountant please work out at home without fail thank you